Hey guys, what's up? Alpha Lion Simba here and welcome to another animal memoir. Now, everybody's aware of the sea otter, but believe it or not, otters were not the only mustelids to go seaborne. There was also a sea mink. Let's get started. The sea mink was once found on the coasts of Canada and New England, especially in the Gulf of Maine. During its existence, the sea mink was the largest of the minks. They were probably 91.4 centimeters or 36 inches long from head to tip of the tail, and its tail was probably 25.4 centimeters or 10 inches long. The sea mink was an internal predator. It may have had a similar diet to the American mink and may have consumed seabirds, seabird eggs, marine invertebrates, and sometimes ate toad sculpins and ocean pouts and garden banded snails. They were usually nocturnal and resided in caves and rock crevices during the day. Due to its large size, the sea mink became a target for fur trappers and it was more desirable than other mink species further inland. The unregulated fur trade eventually led to its extinction. Fur traders made traps to catch sea minks and also pursued them with dogs, although they were rarely trapped. If they escaped into a small hole on rocky ledges, it was dug out by hunters using shovels and crowbars, and if it was out of reach of the hunters, it was shot and then retrieved using an iron rod with a screw on the far end. The last known sea mink was killed in Maine in 1880 and was brought to the Jones Sport Market. After that, the sea mink was officially declared extinct. Well, that was it my animal memoir on the sea mink. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And a quick moment of silence for the sea mink. Alpha Lion Simba, out.